Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this video, we will be creating a website presentation just like this. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited to be doing this tutorial. And I don't know, I think it's just really cool. Um, we have our little website here looking like it's in 3D a little bit as we got some little bevels going on. Um, and this is not a video of the scrolling down. This is completely made out of screenshots and we will be putting together several screenshots uh, from my website right here. Um, and we'll be able to animate this inside of After Effects and have you know a lot of control over how to work with that. So yeah, be sure to also check out uh, my website, sunduckfilm.com. Uh, if you, you know, I post all my tutorials on here. So if the YouTube playlist isn't good enough, you can definitely find them, you know, on my website. So shout out to my website. <laughs> but anyway, that's enough of uh, self-promotion. Let's go ahead and let's actually start this thing. So let's go to uh, create a new composition and we will call this one uh, main tut and make that 1080. 1920 by 1080 is perfect. And 10 seconds is good for me. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with uh, our background. So I'm gonna go up to layer new solid and we'll call this one background and we'll click OK. So let's go up to uh, effect generate gradient ramp and uh, let's go ahead and put our colors in here. So put my uh, hex code in there and then I'll put another hex code for the uh, other color and that'll make this a little bit darker. So we have a little gradient going on here and I'm gonna set this to uh, radial ramp and I'm gonna put my lighter pink maybe over in this corner right here and make our darker color hang out over here. And um, let's go ahead and go to effect, noise, add grain. And if you can hear that, those are my dogs barking, but it doesn't matter. Um, intensity 0.5 and size 0.5. And then let's put this to final output. And it'll just kind of add some texture to our background. And I think that's really cool. So now the next thing uh, we need to do is go up to uh, effect, I mean, sorry, layer new light. And let's make this a spot light and let's click OK. And that's fine. And let's make this a 3D layer. And uh, let's go ahead and let's open up the uh, light options uh, properties and also the transform properties. And uh, let's go ahead and maybe, uh, maybe move this up just by a little bit in the Y value and then Move the X value over a little bit. All right, and now let's go ahead and like rotate this, maybe this way, and have it you know face down. Let's also uh, go to the point of interest and let's uh, maybe move this over here and bring this down, just like that. All right, and maybe we'll uh, move the light back. Ooh. Okay, so let's go to uh, let's see, let's go to the. Uh, cone angle and let's open that up and then let's um, actually bring our light back a little bit uh, and we can increase the Z property and that looks pretty good I like it kind of have like this little uh, gradient going on here but that will also create um, some texture on our website a little bit later on so let's go ahead and let's start putting together our screenshots so what I'll do is um, I'll go ahead and create a new composition and we'll call it 1920 by uh, not by 1080 we'll do like 4000 or something ridiculous and we'll call this uh, maybe home page and then we'll go ahead and bring in our three screenshots that I took of my website sunduckfilm.com more promotion for you guys or really for me <laughs> but more promotion in your faces and um, I'm going to go ahead and drag this to the top and it's not like there's any promotion because I don't I'm not selling anything. So just free tutorials, man. All right, so I went ahead and just put this to the top, which is the top of my uh, website, and then we'll grab the second layer here, and we just have to match. Um, uh, let's put this layer on the top, and we just have to match uh, these up here, and it'll be really quick. And let's see, just gonna zoom in here and get it really close close as we can get and that's perfect and then our last layers go ahead and uh, drag that to the top and once again we'll just go here and figure out where we're gonna put this thing and wait for that okay and let's move it over just a little bit wow that's 
pretty close. I'm going to take it because I can't really see it. Well, I guess I can. I'm a perfectionist. All right, I'm done. Done with that. Okay, so now that we've done this, uh, basically all we have to do now is um, we'll go to the uh, point of interest tool, which is right here. Or sorry, region of interest. Um, don't know my tools today. And we'll just drag out a box just like this all the way to the top. And we zoom in here and make sure we didn't crop anything out here, which I'm not sure if I did. And does it so right. That's perfect. And uh, once we've got our region of interest uh, selected, uh, we'll go to composition, crop, comp to region of interest. And now we have our full composition right here without that black screen. And then what we'll do is we'll pre-compose this um, and we'll just call this uh, web page. I, I really don't even know what to call these things. Just making them up as I go. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, go to uh, composition, uh, comp settings, and let's set this to uh, like 800, the height to 800, keep it at 1920, and click OK. And then let's go to the line over here, and I think let's hit, uh, see, this tool right here, which will bring it to the top. And then um, there's our website, and what we can do, since I don't think I'm going to like the extra white, uh, the white space on here, so I'll just go to the mask tool, and we'll just like bring that over here, and click subtract and then what I'll do is I'll select these two bottom points and I'll just like really bring them down because we will be uh, doing some animation with this a little bit later and then let's go ahead and duplicate this mask and let's just bring it over here and that looks golden looks pretty good all right so let's go back to our main composition where are you main tut and let's go ahead and let's drag that in here and web page and here it is. So there is our uh, website and let's go ahead and make it a 3D layer. And let's go to the uh, rotation and let's uh, start to position this by a little bit. And one thing I need to do because our background is a 3D layer, I need to go to uh, position on the background layer by hitting P on my keyboard and let's uh, bring this back in space just like that and then let's hit S on our keyboard for scale and let's scale it up and now we can rotate this and make it look good so and negative 13 is cool I'm just hit R my keyboard on this and then let's see what we can do maybe bring it back a little bit like that uh, maybe go to the Z rotation perfect and maybe we'll scale it down just by a little bit and we'll position it like over here and maybe we'll bring up the rotation just a little bit more get it like the there we go okay and then um, now that we have have this in here let's go ahead and uh, see let's hit S on our keyboard and we'll hit the stopwatch for scale uh, we'll bring this to like one second and we'll type in zero make this an easy as keyframe and then uh, let's go ahead and start making this thing look sort of 3D. So uh, let's go to effect, perspective, uh, drop shadow. All right, and let's increase the uh, distance on this. And then let's really ramp up the softness. And let me increase the opacity by a little bit. And then let's uh, duplicate this effect and let's just put this on the other side for the direction. And let's make it less intense, maybe 40%. And maybe bring in the distance. Okay. And that looks pretty good. We could have turned on shadows, but that can be kind of difficult to make it match up on the background, especially after we push it back in space. But this looks pretty good. And then also what we can do is go to a layer, a layer styles, a bevel and emboss. And then let's go ahead and go into the bevel and emboss layer. And let's, uh, let's bring down the, uh, the highlight up here a little bit. So maybe put that down to like 40%. So I made a little mistake. Uh, this uh, this composition is from my last uh, project for my demo. So I want to go here and, and just drop this in here, which is the actual tutorial uh, composition. But I don't think anyone cares about that. But anyway, I want to go into this, and we can go ahead and start animating this thing. So I'll pee my keyboard, and maybe like at you know two seconds, I will have our website up, uh, and then maybe at uh, two seconds and twelve frames, I'll move I'll move this up, and maybe we'll see like this and then we'll move forward in time then we'll click a keyframe 
and then move forward again. And maybe we'll I'll just scroll all the way to the top here. So it's pretty cool. And maybe I'll make these two in the middle F9 uh, or easy as keyframes. Maybe offset these by a little bit. So it comes on, zooms in, or scrolls down, and then, you know, pretty cool. And then I'll turn on motion blur for this so we don't have to come back to it later. And uh, let's go ahead and go back to our main comp here. And uh, basically now I'm going to create some, uh, you know, some text, and then we're going to start to animate this thing even further. So I'll just come here. So create some text, and we'll type in welcome to sunduckfilm.com. And just more promotion for me. Um, and I'll go ahead and scale this down just by a little bit. All right. And I'll leave it right there. And I spelt that wrong. Well, okay. And uh, you, if you guys watch my tutorials, you guys know that I like to use animation presets for text. So what I'll do is go to animation presets over here, uh, click on text, animate in, and then straight in by word. And I'll just drag that right onto my text here and hit U on my keyboard. Actually, I'll hit U twice on my keyboard. Um, and I'll bring up all, all the properties here that were affected and the keyframes. Let me drag that in just by a little bit. And uh, let me go to position here and we'll just move that off the screen. And now it'll just fly in, and that looks pretty cool. And I will not make the text a uh, 3D layer, um, just because I don't want it to get in the way or anything like that. I, I didn't like it. But anyway, let's go ahead and go up to a layer, new camera. And this is just fine. Let me make sure I click on camera one. And then uh, let's go ahead and animate this thing. So I'll go to the first uh, frame of our comp here. And uh, let's go ahead and click the stopwatch for position. And then let's go ahead and maybe uh, maybe just go to all the way to five seconds here or six seconds. I, it doesn't really matter wherever you want to end your animation. And what I'll do is I'll go to the, uh, basically our camera tools up here. I'll go to the orbit tool and we'll just add some animation. Maybe, oh, maybe it's a little too much animation. And then I'll hit C on my keyboard to cycle between the tools and I'll go to the track in tool or Z track tool and I'll zoom in. And then uh, let me go ahead and just scale up to our background just by a little bit more so we don't have that issue. And this is what we have created. And it looks really awesome. So if you guys have any questions, please drop a comment down below. Or if you have any requests for tutorials, please let me know. And if this video has helped you, please drop me a like. It helps me out tremendously. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing for more awesome tutorials just like this. And also, please check out my social media links in the description. And guys, hopefully, I will see you soon.